El Paso discovered. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Alright, so yeah, I'm not the best singer. I'm definitely not Marty Robbins. And no, I wasn't born at that, that time frame, but I figured it was fitting. And if you haven't guessed by now, and if you haven't seen it before, I got Texas. I got Texas. Got a little paydays. Got a little bit of cash. Got the money in my pocket, and so I was able to drop a little bit of money here and uh, get what in the world is up with that car? Looks like I got a graphical glitch going on there. Well, that's a shame. I don't know what's causing that, but <clears throat> I'll have to try to address that later. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, got myself the Texas DLC and uh, drove uh, from uh, Las Cruces here to, oh look, it fixed itself. Um, drove from Las Cruces here to El Paso to get my first job started and we got in and out, sweet. Sorry man, just getting distracted, but I uh, was wanting to do a couple of uh, quick jobs, but it's a little late in the evening and the uh, the first job I saw that took me from a uh, Texas location here in El Paso to another Texas location is actually about a 400 mile drive so I don't think I'm going to be doing the uh, more than just one right now because it's uh, late right now for me and I uh, just messed up again that's kind of crazy that's a shame hopefully I won't have uh, too many problems but Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I was thinking maybe trying to do a couple drives here, uh, a couple, get a couple hundred mile or so drives in, but at 400 miles, I think this is going to be the one and only one for this time frame. But here we go. I'm starting into the uh, the the event missions, the jobs or whatever, to go ahead and uh, I think I could get 15 out of 29 uh, state or cities found here with the uh, jobs I got to do. Uh, over 100 miles um it's only been a week and a half and the uh the community has actually already gotten almost completed on the the community goals so i don't think it's going to take uh, much longer before it's uh finished so i'll get to reap that reward here uh pretty quickly but so yeah the first job um i don't know if you saw it when i was uh pulling out actually i don't even know if i was right, uh started at that point in time frame but first job i got to uh uh, not to get in an accident and to cross over. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I guess I gotta stay in the other lane. Alright, uh, first job I got though is to haul a load of uh, cars down to. You know, I honestly don't remember. I will have to, like, figure it out, I guess, but it's 400 miles away. It's down in the. Uh, uh, heading south along the uh, the border of Texas and Mexico, Crown, uh, right along the Rio Grande, Grande, the Rio Grande, however you want to pronounce it, but we'll get there and uh, hopefully enjoy the the journey as we go. But I gotta say, it's uh, this drive I've already done so far, pretty impressive, man. But the city is huge. The city is definitely huge, and I mean, it's been a few years since I've uh, been back through El Paso, but um. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty accurate. But a lot of industry. As you can see out there. Alright, let's see here. Oh, slow down. And it looks like cars are already causing problems up here in front. This limo. Seriously. Do we have an accident with you guys already or something? Kind of looks that way. What a start. So for those of you who haven't uh, been to the wonderful state of Texas, man, I got to tell you, it's a huge, huge state. It's a huge state. Um... You can literally drive from one side of it to the other side of it 
and it would take a full day, and you might not even get done with it in time. I don't know. It depends on how fast you're driving and how many stops you make, but east to west, it could take you a long time to get through it. So, I've uh, done this journey at least, let's see here, one, two, three, three or four times driving across the state of Texas from uh, the going across the different, um, across the country. So, I do it once uh, when I moved down to Texas from California. And then another one from uh, Texas to Florida, and then Florida back to California, and then, you know, journeys and routes. So I can think of at least those times right off the bat. And I gotta say, you gotta do stuff to keep yourself entertained because a lot of it's open, barren, and bleak. <laughs> can get kind of boring so but Texas is still a pretty cool place though um, once you get to some of the cities and things like that but yeah out in the middle of nowhere you know it's probably like driving across Kansas or something <laughs> or some areas of like Wyoming and things I uh, got the nice signs about an inspection station coming up I don't know if I want to get around this guy though because oh wait is this it looks like it might be close So, I don't remember. I think I may have mentioned this in a uh, previous trucking video. But um, when I was younger, in fact, the very first vehicle I ever owned was a, uh, um, a pickup truck. And uh, coming into Texas here, passing a way station, and seeing the sign there for uh, all trucks must stop. I was a little bit naive to uh, what they meant by trucks, being a uh, relatively um, early driver, I guess you could say. Uh, I thought that meant me as well, not just these uh, semi-trucks, and so, yeah, I pulled over. I did my whole uh, stop there and tried to see what they, uh, they needed for the weight check and stuff, and yeah, you know, I got a few looks, but... <laughs> You don't need to stop, not with a pickup, not unless you are trying to do something specific that you need to get it weighed. Hey, hello, Van Horn. Second city in Texas discovered. Definitely gives me the uh, the feeling and the vibes of Texas, though. That's for sure. You did a good job. Way to go, Debs. Way to go. As always, you've uh, represented pretty accurately. Got a train out there. Whoops, stay in my lane. Train hauling his cargo. And me all over the place. I'll just get around him. Let's get in this lane. Really? I'm already at the point they need to get some rest. You know, maybe it's because I had a fast travel to get down here in the first place. Let's kind of get over. And we'll keep an eye out, see if I can find a uh, rest stop someplace, but. Oh, well, it looks like I got over at the right time anyways. Man, I gotta say, it's it's just hard for me to come down here and see a desert. <laughs> yeah, I know, I've gotten on it many times before, how I love trees and greenery and things, but... That's because of that, it makes it harder to come to an environment like this where it's just barren to me. Yeah, sure, there's life out there. There's shrubs and bushes and whatnot. But just not the same and not to say anything like I said I think I mentioned before in another video that uh, 
you know, depending on where you're, you're born, what you brought up and raised in and everything like that helps to uh, climatize you to what you like. And so I know there's people who love the desert. And I'm not saying that there's not beauty in it. There is some beauty in the desert, but for me, it just, I kind of feel, I don't know, just kind of let down with it, I guess. Hello there, Mr. Motorcycle. More power to the people who love the places like this. Everybody's got to find some place that they want to call their own, call home, and lay down some roots. So, like I said, more power to the, to all y'all. Uh, whoa! Ah. Keep to the right. and then take the Nick the car back there. Texting. I didn't, didn't read the whole thing. Something about being illegal. Fort Stockton discovered. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Don't need anybody passing over in front of me. It's like an accident waiting to happen. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I need to step out here for a second. I will be back. Please proceed to the highlighted room. Oh. Well, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but I restarted uh, the game and everything, and it looked like I still had a gl glitch when it first came back in, but... At least it seems like it's oh look behind me in the mirror behind me. What in the world's going on? I don't know if it's because of a a mod that I got installed or not, or if it's just there's some glitch with the game. All right, well, can't rest there because that's a headquarters, so I don't own that. Gotta find a different place to to get some Z's at. Anyways, uh, stepping out to try and check on this and fix it, um, which obviously didn't really fix so much, but I'm able to drive again at least. Uh, I was able to identify that I'm heading down to Del Rio, uh, Texas here, so that's where my uh, job's leading me to. As long as I can get there without any further incidents, hopefully I'll be able to. We'll see. All right, so I know it's probably pronounced differently, but seriously, who wants to ride on a lamer's bus? I could be wrong on that. Um, where's the train? Oh, it's probably gonna cross right here in front of us, isn't it? Yep. Texas flag over there, and a fire truck. Lovely. Welcome to Fort Stockton with a Roadrunner. <laughs> Here's the train. Slow me down. And, uh, hoping to try and give me a ticket for not getting some rest. The Texas flag and the uh, oil rig windmill. Nice little scenery.
Looks like there's a uh, photo op up here. I wonder what side of the road that's on. Are you kidding me? Wow. I feel like I've just wasted like half my life here at this light. Can we go? Can we go? Come on, turn green. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, you know you want to. <gasps> yeah, finally, all right. Hello, historic Fort Stockton. I'm gonna get over. I'm gonna do this. Totally illegally pulled over, but let's do this real quick. City of Fort Stockton. Let's say one of 26 views. There's apparently a lot of trains going through this section right here. That's got to be something to be uh, on your radar if you're coming through this city. Guess finally. Wow. Alright, let's get back on the road. Let's try not to do any more crazy driving. Auto body shop. I need to get some of that done. Oh, there's a uh, bed up there. Let's get to that. We'll uh, readjust as needed. Hopefully, I can get to it. Ooh. All right. Looks like maybe I can get gas here too. Let's see. Oh, I can get repairs too, which I think I need from the last time I uh, was driving. Alright, well, I edited out that whole section so you guys didn't need to see me uh, filling up my tank and resting and fixing the vehicle and whatnot, so. But, as you can see, it's now nighttime, and so I've got to continue my uh, journey here in the dark. Um, at least it's not raining. <laughs> not currently. Uh, it did start out raining here earlier when I first loaded the game up, um, and was uh, testing things out, because I guess it was still in the settings from the last session, but it's not raining right now. Um, I did uh, decrease the settings, obviously, a little bit, but um, they're actually higher than they used to be, so I have a better chance of having rain show up again on me so there is that is this where I'm turning looks like this is where I'm turning all right The stars out there, so nice. I 
always thought it'd be kind of uh, cool if uh, the devs could incorporate it into the driving when you're driving at night out in the middle of like uh, nowhere, you know, miles and miles and miles away from the cities and stuff like that. With the, the stars becoming more intense and you actually be able to see the Milky Way out there while you're driving, it's like that would be really, really cool. I mean, I love the stars right now that they got out here. Don't get me wrong, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool, but Milky Way at night, man, it's just can't be topped. What have we got up ahead? What have we got going on here? We have an accident. Glad it wasn't impeding me any more than uh, normal. Sorry, dudes. Hope you're alright back there, though. So, yeah. My last drive, I told you about my uh, El Paso to Dallas, Texas drive. This is very, very reminiscent of it, because that's what was happening. I was driving in the middle of the night. And I did this all the way until about, uh, I want to say it was like 5, I think I got the exact specific time thing. I think it was 526 when I pulled into where I needed to go to. What is going on here? Yeah, 526 in the morning and the sun has was just barely coming up, so. Those are those memories that stick with you. But yeah, this is uh, reminiscent of it. Now I just need to get a Jolt Cola. And if anybody who doesn't know what a Jolt Cola is, let's just put it this way. Back in the day, it was the... the Red Bull, or the monster equivalent of a soda. Look it up. That's all I gotta say is look it up. I don't know if they still make it or not. They might. Not like I've uh, gone on my way to have any more of those lately. I think at all. I think the the one drive I did was the only time I ever had a Jolt Cola. I knew about them a lot at the time frame, but I just didn't drink any of them until that one session. Alright, what do we got here? We have crickets. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Let's get out before anybody else shows up. No, stop. Right at the gas stations. Again, that wasn't a thing back in the day either. We didn't have all this like super, super lit up stuff. I mean, yeah, you could still find a couple of gas stations and stuff, and they were, had some lights, but nowhere near the intensity in, uh, you see nowadays. A lot of this kind of stuff. the yellow goo from the street lamps. Del Rio is uh, a couple hundred miles away still. I couldn't read it clearly. Probably put about half the drive in. You know, it'd probably be nice to actually have a steering wheel to drive. Steering wheel set up, maybe even get some gears and stuff. I've seen some pretty uh, intense um, rigs, you know, people use computer <laughs> computer rigs, not trucking rigs. Some computer rigs that people have put together for uh, this game and to like simulate it as much as possible with like multiple screens and like, I mean, they've like made it actually like you're driving in the cab of a truck. I gotta say, those are some dedicated uh, gamers to the trucking business, but I don't have that. I'd be happy if I could just like get a uh, maybe like a steering wheel or like I said, in a potential uh, gear shifter. But I'm just using the Steam controller. 
And uh, I think part of the reason why I don't have the steering wheel is because I don't really have a place to put it. I think I mentioned before, I'm in, uh, I'm not in like an office any place or a room or something like that. I'm in the, our living room and my computer's hooked up to the TV, so it's a big screen. I love the screen, but I'm across the room from everything. I'm sitting on the couch playing this, so I don't really have a good spot for a steering wheel to connect to right now. Maybe one day. Get a nice uh, curved monitor and stuff. Or a couple. <laughs> Dedicated desk again. Times that 612. I was going to say, it looks like it's getting a little brighter out there, so the sun should be coming up here soon. Look at that. Wow. You say it and it happens. And the sun will come up. It's now tomorrow. Uh, what was that? Another uh, photo op or video cutscene there. Well, I'll get that on a different drive, I guess. point does everybody turn off their lights? It's going to be at 7 o'clock. I think I'm going to try and turn them off here in a second. There, mine are off. still see their lights on. So it's definitely not at 7. What city do we have? Del Rio! Wow. Got here a lot quicker than I was expecting. I thought we still had a, another uh, 100 or so miles to go. Alright, now I just gotta find out where I gotta drop this um, load of cars off at. It looks like I could get over up ahead, so. Keep to the right, and then turn right. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Alright, well, I guess I'm not in Fargo, North Dakota, but hey. Hello there, fire truck. like I'm at a uh, convention, you know, where you have all those like old-timey cars coming by and stuff like that, you know, something like that along those lines where you get everybody together from all over the place, instead of this being old-timey cars though, it's fire trucks, I see them all the time. we got around here anyways. Lowe's, another Midas, green light. Let's uh, go before that changes. I get a ticket or wait. Yeah, H. Robinson. I don't know what that is. Oh, is this from turning? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm gonna cut across here. It looks like that was probably totally uh, illegal. I'm here. What are you talking about? Uh, oh, that's truck service. Oh no, I gotta. Oh, I'm going in there. Silly me. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. I just I'm tired, I guess. It's late. You have arrived at your destination. Twenty-six hours later. Just kidding. Alright. Let's do the uh oh.
All right, we'll do it. And if it's long, I'll edit it out. Just down to the basics. Seriously, like right here at the edge. They think that I'm like some sort of experienced driver. Did they not see the last video? Wow. I'm sure this is not how you're supposed to be parking this. But hey, I can get it close. I don't get paid to do this in real life, so cut me a little bit of slack. Why am I dropping cars off here like this? Well, I got it, but I don't understand why I'm parking cars here to get off in a hangar like that. Because they're not going to get offloaded on the bottom deck the way they are. But okay, whatever. <laughs> so. Fragile cargo bonus. Wow, high value cargo bonus, long distance delivery bonus, proficiency bonus. Didn't realize that the uh, cargoes were considered or cars are considered fragile, but hey, I'll take it. Maneuvering bonus is 40. Cool. So, there you have it. An external look at my uh, wonderful parking skills. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sad. It's pretty pathetic. But, again, like I said, I don't get paid to do this. But, um, yeah, there you go. There you have it. <laughs> uh, first uh, mission, first job done in Texas. Uh, got uh, quite a few more to go. Um, I'll be putting out some more videos as I uh, get a chance to get to them. So, over the next few weeks, you'll uh, see a few more of these. But, yeah, as always, uh, it's been fun. And I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say and uh, let me know what you think. So uh, drop a comment down below and uh, again, thumbs up, thumbs down, and any subscriptions would be greatly appreciated. So till next time, I hope you all had a good one. I hope you enjoy this. hope you have fun. And if you're doing this yourself, happy trucking. Y'all take care. Have a good one. Bye. Are you kidding me? Keep to the left, and then turn left. Good thing I haven't started a job yet. <laughs>